Over the last few months, I've been using GoodNote 6 for absolutely everything from all of my note taking to all of my content creation. But is GoodNote 6 the all-in-one app that's good for students, professionals, and anyone running a business? Well, I'm not so sure. Stick around because at the end of this video, I'm gonna share who I think this app is truly for and also who I think could probably leave it to something else. Hey, I'm Tom and on this channel, we like to talk about the tech that simplifies your life and not complicates it. Digital note taking is absolutely fundamentally one of those things. Truly believe that if the pen doesn't feel right, it doesn't really matter. And the good news is that GoodNote 6 has very finely tuned its synchronization with the Apple Pencil almost perfectly. It has no lag, no stutter, feels like the ink is just falling out of your stylus. And it's also integrated the new features with the long hold press that you have on the brand new Apple Pencil Pro, which is much like the Apple Notes feature that is deeply integrated and something that Notability does not have yet. So Good Notes has always been about that real notebook vibe, right? It's a highly customizable notepad. It has a very deep filing system. You've got custom folders, customized covers, like you can still doodle on the front of your covers. It's pretty cool. And it really has that feeling of being like a notebook. That is both a positive for those that want that and also a bit of a negative. I don't always enjoy how the notebooks come across. They can feel limiting to my brain. I don't know if that's just me, it might just be me. However, for those that need it, the way that you can structure your folders goes far beyond what is available in my mind in the competition when it comes to Apple Notes and Notability. Okay, so note taking is just the beginning. You won't be surprised to find that AI is deeply integrated into GoodNotes 6 now. Can your notes actually think ahead of you? No, but can they be refined by the AI built into the system? Yes. There are a few systems at play that help you do things much quicker and only one of those is AI. There are actually a few other features that have been integrated that I wanted to share. So obviously it can summarize a very messy page using AI into very neat bullet points. And it can even clean up, you know, my notably doctor likes chicken scratch handwriting. There's now a maths mode for those people that need to do their sums on their iPad. Still haven't met someone that needs to do that yet. And Ask Good Notes is actually much better than I originally gave it credit for. Um, it particularly good at creating quizzes or questions or references to long texts or even your handwritten notes that you have generated. But there's also something really nice here in the depth that it's integrated into your device. Firstly is the access to the last 10 photos in your library. So that's very helpful for quick additions to your notes. If you've taken a picture on your phone of say class notes or some bullet point that you thought was interesting on a slide, it is available through iCloud and that means that you can just press on it and bring it straight in. That is a huge productivity time save. And this is one that I really like, right? This is your last known font. As somebody that has to make content that has all the same fonts everywhere, I've found that being able to take notes in the same font style because it has access to the last known fonts through the Apple ecosystem. Really nice touch and not one I've seen before. So well done, good note six. I like this. And if you're serious about taking notes on your iPad, you're gonna need the right case. But that's also why this section of the video is sponsored by Moft and the Dynamic Folio. My iPad is usually nested in the Magic Keyboard, but the problem with the Magic Keyboard is that it's incredibly heavy. I needed something that was generally just much more lightweight that could also help me improve the note-taking experience in general, because really, I, I don't want to have to constantly take my iPad out of the Magic Keyboard and also constantly look around for the Apple Pencil that's been knocked off in my bag. The Dynamic Folio protects my iPad throughout the day while being incredibly light. And the origami design helps me maneuver it into so many different positions for note taking from obviously <laughs> flat on the table, but also to this ergonomic writing mode, which acts as a second screen and allows me to take notes straight away. But to be honest, I reckon this lap mode is the one that I like writing on the most and I found myself using all the time, especially on my commute. And how annoying is it when you're trying to get on a Teams call and you need to take notes at the same time? Well, the dual screen mode allows you to prop up your iPhone to that perfect viewing angle 
and take notes at the same time on your iPad. Oh, this removable magnetic pencil holder is actually a really nice touch because it keeps my Apple Pencil locked right into place and it can still charge. So when I'm moving it from bag to bag, I don't have to worry about it getting knocked off or dropping somewhere that I don't notice. Of course, the Dynamic Folio's flexibility isn't just for note taking. Its reading mode is great for the mornings when I just want to read like news articles. And of course, to the evenings when I'm looking for either entertainment or I'm following along to a recipe while I cook, it just helps prop up my iPad at the perfect viewing angle. For more information, check out that link in the description that leads you straight to the Moft Dynamic Folio. So I don't know if GoodNote 6 is for everyone, as I mentioned. So let's talk about a couple of different user profiles and I'll end up with who I think this is for. Okay, so for business users, let's call them business users or professionals or whatever, but we're all professional here. Meeting notes, templates, very helpful. Uh, you can obviously track decision tracking through the fact that it is a digital note taker. There are built-in templates for brainstorming and org charts. Look at stuff that you're actually going to use, you know, not just for bullet journaling. For everyday life people, there are your daily trackers, your habit trackers, your calendars if you wanted to make that. And that all looks quite lovely, but I think you'll probably want more effective companion apps for that stuff. In fact, I'm not gonna lie, I think just having a whiteboard on a wall or something or a chalkboard for your to-do list is better than having it hidden away. But this next group of people is who I think GoodNotes really is for, originally designed for, and still very powerful for. And that, of course, is students. You get lecture templates, exam prep flashcards, and also real-time group work synchronization. Like the endless customization and the folder system that can follow your textbook structure or your class structure, I think it puts it well ahead of the competition. The voice note to text is great. You have the endless freedom to customize and annotate on top of anything. So you put a picture on there, you can annotate on top of. It is much more refined in GoodNotes 6. So is GoodNotes still the best note taker or the best for students? I honestly don't think it's the best note taker, but I do think that if you, and look, hang on, let me explain why I think that. I, I just don't like the way it looks. I really don't like the way it looks. It's a quite a strange muted color scheme. Um, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of the aesthetics and that, is a big blocker for me. I really love the aesthetics and notability. Or if I wanted something free, simple, Apple Notes, uncluttered, very simple, that works for me. If I'm gonna pay for something, I want it to look nicer than this. So it isn't for me, and I don't necessarily therefore think it's the best, I can't recommend that. But if you are a student, I feel this is just probably the most powerful tool out there for you. Or if you are, um, somebody that has incredibly structured work cycles that have the need for very deep folder organization and individual tech book, textbooks. For example, in my profession, I have to meet a lot of people and have recurring meetings. Perhaps I can find the textbook feature rather useful, but it doesn't quite work with, with my flow. Well, thanks for watching this far team. And if you are still here and you haven't subscribed, what are you doing, please? You like this along? May as well subscribe, that would be nice. And we've got a lot more deep dives in all things tech coming up over this next 12 months. I'm really excited about what we've got. And I'd love to hear about your note-taking setup for 2025 and beyond. And without further ado, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.